Hi guys, welcome back to Recipes Recreated. Hope everyone's doing great. So today I'm super excited because I am recreating like a copycat of my favorite thing at taco time. Because we don't, where I'm at, we don't have a taco time. And when I grew up in Idaho, there's taco time. So I always love to get the crisp meat burritos. So decided to recreate it here. And um, they taste really good. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys try it. I don't know if you've ever had taco time. Um, they're close. I'm not going to say they're like better because there's just a taste that they have, but these are really, really good and definitely fixes my, my taco time crisp meat burrito fix. And, um, they're really good. They really, really are good. I'm really proud of these ones. So, um, let's just get started because I've been wanting them for a while and, um, yeah, let's just get started. And I'm also, oh, I'm also going to make a um, jala, super easy jalapeno ranch dip to dip them in. And I also like to just dip them in salsa, but I'll show you that too. So let's just get started, you guys. All right, bye. Okay, so first we're gonna take a pan. We have it on medium high heat. We're gonna add our pound of hamburger. And I'll break it up a little bit. And we'll start adding our seasoning. So we're gonna do a big heaping tablespoon of minced onion, dried minced onion. And then I have a teaspoon of steak seasoning. Doing a teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of cumin, about a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and a heaping teaspoon of tomato bouillon. That's what that looks like. And then the steak seasoning. And then we're going to add um, two thirds cup of, I have a mixture just because I didn't have enough <laughs> of beef and chicken broth. But if you just have beef, that's what you want to use. But I just, I didn't have enough. So I'm doing a mixture of two thirds cup of beef broth. That's what you have. Or I, I should say, it's, that's what you want to use. But if you only have chicken and beef, you do what I do. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up a little bit and let it cook down. And you want the meat to be like super fine, so you're gonna really work it in. So we'll be back. Okay, once you got that going good, see how it like broke it down, so it's like really small crumbles. And then we're just gonna add about a half a cup. Well, sorry, about a fourth a cup of blended cheese, like a cheese blend, like mozzarella, cheddar, jack cheese. Um, and you just want a little bit to bind it here. So once we have this all mixed together and melted through, we will start assembling the burritos. These are, this is like my favorite thing at taco time, love it. Okay, so I forgot to tell you, you, got, you want to drain your uh, the meat so it's not liquidy because you don't want that in your burrito. So drain that, and then you're just going to make a paste out of like a tablespoon of flour and a tablespoon of water. That way, um, when we roll up the burrito, we can kind of seal it because you definitely don't want it coming open um, when you fry it up either. Even though you're, you, you're going to put it seam side down, but still. It's just a little fail safe. Okay, so you take... Um, it's like a soft taco size um, tortilla and then you just probably add, I'm trying to eyeball it here, because you want it to go but not too full, you know, maybe two tablespoons probably. And then you just take it and kind of bring this back a little because you want it super tight, right? 
and then just start rolling it. And then when you get close, hey, we got some overboard. I'm gonna shove those in there. And then just do this so we can seal it. And that's it. So we'll put this to the side. And so basically what you're doing is just, um, because everything's cooked, so you're just frying these up so it gets nice and crisp. So let me finish the rest of these and then we'll fry them up. Okay, you're just gonna heat some oil in a pan and just cover the bottom, maybe up to like a fourth inch from the bottom. And slowly add your burritos in, seam side down. I think I'll do like four at a time. And that mixture makes 10, if you, if you do about two tablespoons, it makes like a 10 pack. So it worked out perfectly. And you just wanna brown them on all sides. So these sat for about a minute and a half, two minutes, and then I just flip them over, or turn them over. So I'm just gonna keep checking them um, like every minute and a half, because we just wanna brown them. Okay, so I like to dip my crisp meat burritos in salsa, but then also a um, jalapeno ranch dip. So I just have a whole jalapeno here, and I keep the seeds because I like it spicy, but if you don't, take them out. And then just a couple tablespoons of cilantro. I'm doing a half a cup of sour cream, and I'm gonna do half of this seasoning packet, and it should be good. So if it's a little too thick for you, just add a little milk, but that's it, it's so delicious. Okay, you guys. There they are. They're so good. And just serve it with your favorite salsa. And just to make sure that you use um, like a thinner type of tortilla, a flour tortilla, but like a thinner one. Like I find that Mission brand are too thick um, to do this. But anyway, hope you guys try it. Let me know if you do. Bye guys.